Hey everyone, this is Drake Bell, and you're watching Childhood DVD Fan right here on YouTube. How's it going everyone? This is Childhood DVD Fan here, and I'm back with another video. It has been a very long time since I've made a non-Drake uh, and Josh uh, type um video response video or whatever, although I recently did do um, a little mini interview with Melanie Martin, who was the fiance of the late, great Aaron Carter, rest in peace to uh, AC, greatest of all time, along with Drake Bell, but rest in peace, AC, um, but because of some situations that happened earlier this year that I don't really want to get into, um, that video was on unlisted for the moment, but if you guys could uh, go um, check out that video and give it some likes, uh, I would really appreciate that. I will make it public eventually, but there was a situation that happened with me earlier this year regarding uh, some things I don't want to get into that I can't really make that public uh, for the moment, but I can make it unlisted. So as long as you guys have the link, you can go check it out, which I'd really appreciate. Anyways, um... And one other thing I will say, I apologize. I know that I'm way, way behind, and I, you know, it, it's probably too late at this point uh, to even do these type of videos. But I know that I never did my review of Zoe 102. I never um, gave a, a video on my thoughts on the iCarly reboot being canceled. I never did a review on Good Burger 2, although that one is not too old, so maybe that would be the only one that I would you know, maybe still do, or maybe, I'll, I don't know, I mean, Zoe 102, it's like four or five or six months old, or whatever, whenever the hell it came out, I never did a review on that, um, you know, I just, there, there was, you know, there were some things that I should have kept up with that I just didn't, because quite frankly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just, there was, I don't know, there's just something wasn't there that was motivating me to, uh, do those things, uh, like I was before, um, so I apologize that, uh, I never got around to doing those things. Maybe the one, maybe I'll do Good Burger 2 because that one's not too old. Um, but I will say that I thought that that movie was fantastic. Um, it was a lot better than I expected it to be. And the same with the Zoe 102. Um, although I did like Good Burger 2 better than Zoe 102. But Zoe 102 surprised me as well. Um, but anyways, on to this video. I know we're, you know, over, you know... Two and a half minutes in, uh, basically, without, you know, obviously the Drake Bell intro, or, you know, around the... Uh, anyways, so yesterday, I was with my father, uh, we were going to our local, um, fried chicken place, now, now, we didn't get fried chicken, they actually, um, serve burgers in there, which are actually wicked good, the cheeseburgers in there, oh my god, they're the die for... The chicken burgers could be a little bit better, but the cheese cheeseburgers in there were fantastic. Um, they're just a little expensive in there. But anyways, uh, we were going for uh, lunch, you know, pick up, you know, some things, whatever. And my father saw something that caught his eye, and he showed me, and I said, oh, shit. Um, and we checked in to make sure with the woman that this was real, and she said it was. So that way, obviously, we weren't, you know, going to get in trouble or whatever. But there was... Um, just a bunch of DVDs on the curbside of this business uh, that had a sign on it that said free. And so I was like, oh, shit. So I looked through and I found a few things. Um, now, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have five things. I really was only interested in maybe two of them. Um, some of the other ones, maybe, you know, whatever. But, I mean, it's free. You know, I didn't have to pay any money for any of these. So, I mean, you know, whatever. And, you know... I was going to pick out an Eddie Murphy movie. I, I debated on that, but my father, you know, didn't want me to continue taking any more movies or whatever because he's like, don't take the whole thing, you know. So um, I left it behind. And then when I dropped him off at his house, I'm like, you know what? I want to see. I, 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 I want to go pick that up. And I went back um, to get the Eddie Murphy movie. I don't know which one it was because, you know, I'm not very familiar with Eddie Murphy's work. Um but somebody grabbed it already, so I'm like, all right, whatever, you know, but, you know, no, no, no big loss, but that would have been cool to get for free, but anyways, um, I did pick up these things, and one, one of these things, um, I don't know if there's a Blu-ray set for this or not, and this will be the main event, um, but I did watch a show 
as a kid, and it was funny from what I saw. But obviously, I, I you know, now that I'm a man and I go back and watch the show, um, I'll probably get a lot of the uh, adult humor that I missed as a kid, especially when uh, one of these, you know, actors is on screen. But anyways, let's get into this. Now, this first one here, this one is just, um, this one's kind of a clusterfuck to be honest with you, um, and the case is really, really dirty, it's kind of nasty, but I gotta either replace it or clean it off, um, but anyways, this is the first one, this one's kind of a clusterfuck, so we have full screen, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and it says, um, Chambers on here, so I guess, I don't know if this is somebody's last name or whatever, um, I hate when people fucking write markers on, on cases or discs like you'll see in here, um, so this one's kind of a clusterfuck, <laughs> because this is supposed to be the DVD set, and it has, um, chambers on here, but this appears to be, and I'm not real familiar with this movie or this series, or not, but this appears to be the movie on Blu-ray, but it's a different Lord of the Rings, it's the Lord of the Rings, uh, oh wait, no, it is the right one, um, I thought it was a different one, the next one's different, so... This is, you know, I mean, I'd rather have it on Blu-ray than DVD anyways, um, although I hate that fucking marker on there. But, um, you know, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, this appears to be the movie on Blu-ray, although it's kind of weird that it's in the DVD case. And it is pretty, um, you know, uh, fingerprinted up. There are some scratches to the left, but it is fingerprinted up pretty bad. But then the next one here is... The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers DVD special feature. So <clears throat> the DVD version for um, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers is missing completely. I don't know what the deal is. Sorry about that, guys. I had an interruption. But anyways, um, so we had The Two Towers uh, little um, you know pamphlet thingy that tells you, I guess, the chapters of the movie. Even though I don't have the movie itself. And then the DVD version of The Fellowship of the Ring. I assume this is the DVD version uh, <laughs> booklet. Um, but yet, it I have the Blu-ray uh, of the movie instead. Which I guess I'd rather have the Blu-ray than the movie, than the DVD. Ugh, I'd rather have the Blu-ray than the DVD anyways. But this is just kind of a clusterfuck. Um, but I got it because it's just, it was free. <laughs> Completely free. I would not have ever paid for this. And it, uh, you know, um, is the Lord of the Rings. Um, and obviously it's a big series, although I've never really watched them, so I don't really know much about them. But yeah, the case is fucking filthy. Look at this. Ugh. Disgusting. I might have to change it. The only reason that I might want to keep this is because I do like the color. The color is, uh, very cool looking. That, like, um, wine red type, uh, color. But I, I, I gotta clean this up. I mean, I, I probably won't be able to remove the marker, you know, on there, especially not on the disc. But uh, I'd rather just clean up the case because it is filthy. Anyways, the next one here, um, which I heard about this one way, way back. I never um, watched this movie. I never was a fan of either one of these guys. And I've heard some negative things about the one on the left um, with Alexa Nicholas. And that is 22 Jump Street. Uh, I've heard some, you know, not so nice things about, you know, Jonah Hill as a courtesy of Alexa Nicholas, who played Nicole Bristone's Zoe 101, but I really don't want to get into it. And Channing Tatum, obviously, I've heard it, you know, but I I've never really followed either one of these guys' uh, careers, so I don't really know much about them. But, you know, like I said, um, these are, you know, free movies just sitting on the fucking side of a curb, so... Why not pick up some ones that might interest you? But anyways, we have the DVD version, the actual correct version. Although, I don't really like um, when the... Uh, I mean, the the back, um, which is, you know, it is used. But I'm not a fan of the um, DVDs or even Blu-rays that have um, that, like, DVD back look um, on the front of the DVD. Because... You can see, like, scratches on the front. Like, you kind of like to hide it, like, you know, with some artwork and some, like, layers or whatever. But I, I don't really like when they have the clear, uh, you know, thing. But obviously, have to have for the back for the DVD to play. But, I don't know. I'm trying to say it in a way that makes sense. But anyways, um, 22 Jump Street, you know, 
who knows if I'll ever even watch this fucking thing, but you know, it's just free on the curb. So, you know, picked it up. Anyways, um, this one, I think I got confused with, um, a different movie, but you know, this one does have, um, one of my favorite actresses in it. Although I don't really know her, like, other stuff besides her huge show, and that is, uh, Marley and Me, um, and the, uh, the Eddie Murphy, um, movie was in the red case just like this as well. We have Marley and Me. I think I remember this, um, hearing that this was actually a, a pretty emotional, uh, film, but you have Jennifer Aniston there, um, who obviously was v Rachel Green on, uh, Friends, uh, her, her biggest role, um, Although Jennifer Aniston's messed up her fucking face recently. And, you know, there's no reason for all these, you know, Hollywood people to mess with their faces. Like, they're none of them ever look better after plastic surgery. It makes no sense to me. But anyways, um, so we have Marley and Me. Uh, if I can get these pamphlets out of here to show you guys. Um, we have Labrador Retriever... And I guess some uh, information on dogs or whatever. And then on the back, conversation with John Grogan. Uh, you know, I don't know, kind of useless information. And then uh, <laughs> this coupon thing. Where's the expiration date? Oh, December 31st, 2009. I'm pretty sure this code is still good. <laughs> what do we got here? We got a spot shot. Never ever heard of Spot Shop before. I'm probably it's probably not even available anymore. Uh, non toxic and more effective than ever. Spot Shot carpet stains worst enemy. So basically, you know, this um, removes things that your dog, you know, may have, you know, contributed to the floor. If you know what I mean. Anyways, um, but yeah, that code's still good. <laughs> and then Marley and me. Uh, I do like this uh, little, you know, uh, cover. You see, like, there's no clear, like, like it, it, it's nice, like it's covered, you know. This one's a little bit used, but you know, free. You know, these three move, these three things I just showed you, I never would have paid even a dollar for these ever, but because it was free, why not? Anyways, now this one actually is a little bit interesting to me. Um, I've seen a little bit of the show, and I like, I. It was okay, like, but this one is actually pretty damn interesting. That is Duck Dynasty, the complete series, all 130 episodes. Look at this is a huge fucking beast, man. This is a huge beast. Now, unfortunately, this one is missing, but the rest of the DVDs for this, for you know, I, I don't think any of the other ones are missing. Um, the rest of them. And, and I checked out most of the DVDs, and most of them look like they ne they've never even been watched before. Um, it appears that everything else is in here, which is cool, you know. Um, you know, you can't beat, you know, basically 90, 95% of the series on DVD for free, you know. Uh, but I guess uh, someone who had this before probably just watched this one, and uh, that was it. And they just never put it back or whatever. Um, you see how cheap these DVDs got after a while? They stopped even putting creative artwork on the disc. Just, you know, gray disc. You know, my everyone's favorite, right? Like, look here. Like, it's got the nice artwork with the guys, whoever the fuck they are. And then you have this gray look. Like, really? You know? Anyways, the rest of the DVDs for the series appear to be on here, you know? Um, so... Yeah, I mean, you can't complain at all. My dad tried to, you know, my I have a friend, my best friend actually, as a matter of fact, who I think is a Duck Dynasty fan or whatever, so he, my dad was trying to get me to say, like, oh, give it to him, whatever. I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So we have Duck Dynasty. I have no idea. The only one I re recognize is that guy, but I have no idea who the fuck these guys' names are at all. <laughs> I honestly... I forgot what even Duck Dynasty, the whole premise of the show even is. I mean, I've only seen like a few episodes like 10 plus years ago and I barely even remember it. I don't remember anything about this. I think like, didn't like one of these guys die or something, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, now this one here. Although I don't know any of these shows, 
history, like, you know, Drake and Josh or Zoe 101 or iCarly, like, the back of my hand at all. I was actually like, oh, this is cool, you know. Um, once again, this one, maybe if I saw it for a dollar, I'd pay for it. But even then, I, you know, I, I'd think about it. Um, but this one, actually, I was like, okay, this one, I actually, um, it, 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 this is nice to have for free on DVD. Um, now, I have no idea if there's a Blu-ray set for this or not. Um, but even still, I'm okay with uh, having the DVD for free. Um, so, uh, this is the one that I said earlier on. That, you know, if I ever, you know, went back and rewatched this, I'm sure I'd pick up on all the adult jokes that I missed out on as a kid. And that is Two and a Half Men, Season 1. Now, I don't have any of the other seasons. I don't know how long the show ran. I really don't. All I really know, besides seeing, you know, the few clips of the show here and there, was that Charlie Sheen got fired from the show at the end, I believe. Um... So, you know, the the case is pretty beat up. I mean, it, it's not in the best shape. Uh, we have, let's see, $4.99 Media, $4.99 Orange, wherever this was sold from. Well, I got it for free. Didn't pay your $4.99. Fuck you. Um, but obviously, you have Charlie Sheen. I mean, who the fuck doesn't know Charlie Sheen, you know? Um, I'm not, you know, I like Charlie... How do I say this? I like Charlie Sheen for the asshole that he is, quite frankly. I do. <laughs> But, like, I don't, like, pay attention to, like, I don't watch his films or, you know, or whatever. But I just like when he's a dick to people. And then these two over here, I don't even know their names. I don't know their character names. Although I do recognize their faces, obviously. But I have no idea what their names are off the top of my head. But obviously that's Charlie fucking Sheen. The man, the myth, the legend. So, it comes in this little slip case here. Um... Yeah, you know, the slip cases, you know, now, the, now this is in a lot better shape. The actual DVD, you know, thing is in a lot better, but obviously the case is kind of, you know, the, the slip cover is kind of shitty. But I mean, then again, I'd rather have a slip cover with this than not a slip cover. But anyways, so we have Two and a Half Men, the complete first season. It would have been nice if there were more Two and a Half Men, quite frankly, the, at that curbside thing. But hey, you know, I, I'm not complaining. That's a pretty cool shot there. You got the kid there, whoever the hell he is, and then Charlie Sheen on the piano. So that's pretty damn cool. But when you open up the DVD, nice shot here, and then you have, um, it says the cast. Here we go. Uh, John Cryer, so that, that, that's that got to be who that is. And then Angus Jones. Oh, yeah, I've heard of Angus Jones before. Just didn't register. And then a few of the other characters on here. These weren't, I mean, besides Charlie Sheen, I wasn't going to remember the other guys' names religiously. Um, cool shot of the show there. Got some screenshots on the bottom here. Um, so, I mean, it's cool stuff, you know. Um, nice photo of them at the table. Whatever, although this is kind of backwards. Like, you think that for most things, like, you would open up the right side and would have the information, but it's actually on the left side. So it's kind of, it's really backwards, quite frankly, because you have to open up backwards to get to the right side. It's kind of a clusterfuck. But anyways, it's, uh, although the one thing I do remember the most about the, this show, more than anything, is the theme song. Men, men, menly, menly, men, 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 Ooh, a man. I mean, the theme song is one of the best out there. So let's see. Men gets things right, especially those essential ingredients of smart casting and tart writing. Tart writing, okay. So, you ready for my favorite? Boom. <laughs> Although, I mean, this is a mini set, so it's not a huge deal. But, I mean, stacked DVDs, ugh, you know. Not not my favorite at all. So you have the three of them on this one. Actually in very, very good shape. And then you have my favorite, obviously, of the, of the three knuckleheads here. You have Charlie on disc two. This one's a little bit used, but not terrible. Uh, you have uh, John Cryer, I think. That's, you know, on disc three. Very lightly used. And then you have the kid, Angus Jones. On disc four. So, yeah, um, 
quite frankly, if I'm ever going to watch any of these movies or DVDs that I just showed you, this might be the only one. <laughs> Um, but then again, this might have a Blu-ray set and this, you know, this DVD set basically will be pretty useless, but I don't know. I don't know if this has a Blu-ray or not, and I really don't care to research it. You know, it's really not that important to me. Um, I mean, then again, maybe I should go back and watch Two and a Half Men because I'm pretty sure it is a good show because back when it was, uh, popular and back when Charlie Sheen actually was, um, you know, um, a respectable actor before obviously all the accusations and all the bullshit with him came out to the media especially uh the worst one at least that i remember um although he's had controversies with women and hitting them and stuff like that but the worst one is the fact that uh he is alleged to have raped Corey Haim on the set of uh lucas back in 1986 uh so i mean if that is true charlie sheen's a piece of shit that's what Corey Feldman claims, but, uh, you know, who knows? But anyways, um, so that's it. I know that this video went super, super, super long, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, this has been Childhood DVD Fan. So long, everyone. Oh, and one last thing that I completely almost forgot to mention to you guys. Uh, <laughs> my dad, when he found uh, his DVDs at that curbside thing, it was actually The Sopranos, and he wanted those. It was seasons one three four or two four something like that there were three of the four uh soprano seasons at least i think that there were like six seasons of the sopranos but um there were um like three or four uh season dvd sets there and one of them was missing in between one in between uh two through four or two through three i should say oh anyways so my dad found the sopranos and i found the rest of those things uh that i just showed you guys anyways it's been childhood dvd fans so long everyone hey this is jonathan goldstein walter from drake and josh i just want to thank you for watching childhood dvd fan right here on youtube